Welcome to Empire by this Rampant and welcome back to my Kingdom of Sweden campaign for the Bulat Steel mod. We're gonna continue where we left off from last time. Conquering Finland and pushing into Russia. Yeah. We are doing fairly well so far right now with this. Basically just waiting for you guys to be able to have some uh, free upkeep units and uh, guys again garrison these cities before we can start moving along. Um, and one thing, I actually want to bring this up right now because I just didn't realize that Bulat Steel had this as it was brought up in a comment that I wasn't aware that Bullet Steel actually has it set up that, uh, let me find one. There it is. So, they actually have to, like, I, I know I noticed these before, there's just random churches all over the place. And supposedly, uh, priests, wherever the hell I have one, I don't have anybody that's nearby, and I don't think I have any in my own lands, but I can actually put them on there and train their piety by having them sit up with the church. I, that's just something I find really cool. Technically, there's supposed to be, like, training camps around here, too, that I can put my, uh, generals on. Um, I just don't think I have... Oh, wait, uh, no, that's just cool. I thought that was maybe a training camp right there, but no, sadly, no, it is not. But no, right now, uh, we're just a little pushing into Russia here. I am actually tempted that one thing I'm gonna think I'm gonna maybe be doing is... They have a lot more land than I thought they were, it did. And I don't know if we're gonna go all the way in this far east. So, one thing I might try and do is, like, let's look right now at... Novgorod is the only one I'm at war with. They are only at war with me right now, actually, which is kind of surprising. But what I think I might try and do is I'm going to bring... Well, let's wait until we're done taking this section, uh, as I want to make sure I can kind of keep an eye on Riga. But then what I think I might do is have you kind of go down towards the uh, Byzantines, and I can maybe try and sell them some of this land. Try and uh, see if they can maybe kind of fight up here for me as a way to kind of seal off that front once I'm done with that. Now, one thing, I know I'm doing a lot of one things, one things, before I finally properly get into this, um, but I actually liked this comment I saw where I'm going to be, it was uh, Patrick Robinson's suggestion, where I'm gonna re I wanna rename Bergen to Kungensgrav. I have no idea if I uh, said that right for Bergen, but uh, it's supposed to be Swedish, supposedly, for King's Grave, which I think actually fits very much with the uh, what happened on when we took this settlement. So let's rename that Kungensgrav. I have no idea if that was pronounced properly or not, but there we go. Uh, let's see, I do have another family member back here, actually, now that I look at it. Uh, I don't see anybody... Oslo doesn't have a governor yet, so let's send you down over there. Also, am I just seeing this wrong, or do you have, like, a dog in your background? I can't tell what the hell's going on there. Uh, but okay, so that's good for that. Now, let me just spend a bit more money trying to develop my economy. And I think for you guys, let's see, right now I've got about 600 in corruption. I really want to get more things that uh, help with laws. Let's have you get a town hall here. That'll go from 600 to 542. That should help us there. Uh, you guys, I know we're getting close. Oh, you're 500 away. And then Oslo, we just started building this up. It's about to finish construction. Skara, you guys probably maybe get the farm. Because I don't have any corruption here, so I can grab that. And you guys will get about another 70-ish there. Uh, Kalmar. You guys have, like, no corruption here. Ooh, Bakehouse for more growth might not be a bad idea. Let's do that. Bakehouse for some more growth there. Just so we can get those guys. Well, is this, like, the max level castle? I don't believe it is. I think we can go level one level higher. Oh, no, that is, actually. No, I can go to a fortress. It just doesn't say that. Huh. I'll actually be surprised. It, does that mean that all my castles can only be single layer? Interesting. Interesting. Okay. Well, let's see. I think that is a bit uh, for you guys there. As I'm going to be just... I, my, my advance into Finland is going to be a little slow until I can get some more troops over here that can help out with governing the cities. I'm debating on whether or not I'm gonna maybe start exterminating around here, as it will make it a little bit easier for us to push into Russia if I just depopulate the area. <laughs> Technically, it, it, it's accurate, it's accurate. Oh fuck, I forgot to check my guys in Africa. Damn it. Cause we're still trying to find some trade resources down there to see if we can get a decent amount of money from them for uh kingdom of Scandinavia. We can now actually properly claim that we are the kingdom of Scandinavia. Damn right. Took us long enough and 
uh, it was, it's been too long since we've been out of Finland that I don't know if uh, they actually remember us ruling them for a time. We ruled Sala for a time, Turku for a time as well. But it's been so long because it's been about like 40-ish turns. I keep forgetting to check how many turns per year we have for this mod. I don't remember. That does remind me about the fact that I'm sad that there is a new update for this mod and I cannot play it right now. Not until we finish this campaign. Because I honestly feel like what's probably going to happen is after this campaign, I'm probably either going to play another Zardom's campaign or another one of this. Because both of them now have been updated. And I think most recently, these have been the two most interesting historical campaigns uh, or mods that have been released for Medieval 2. And I definitely want to keep playing more Bulat Steel. I am loving this one so far. Can you not? This is the one that was supposed to be grabbing my diplomat, Admiral uh, Wingham Vorm. That's you should survive. It's just whether or not you're gonna take that much damage. Which you lost about half your guys. Oh, it's a new bride for uh let's see, what the monoscar sure. I'll accept that. And King of Portugal's dead. Wonderful. Uh Prince of Latimar is dead too. A lot of people are dying. Um, line items. Nothing crazy going on there. Bishop. Flea plus one of stealth. Wait, who is that for? That's for one of my spies, isn't it? Yeah, it is for one of my spies. Uh and I did get an assassin over here. I do want you. I've got two now. Hmm. Let's have you guys kind of try and train on this guy first. Try and train here for a bit. I'm not going to worry about too much about the videos while we're training. Only when you guys maybe actually go after important characters will I care about this, but I'm not going to turn it off. Otherwise, it'll just keep that setting. Now, let's see. Declaration of War. Portugal and England are at war. Interesting. Oh, good. The, the Pope doesn't hate me as much. Maybe I won't have to worry about my... Uh, current standing with the uh, Papal States as it's still uh, not the best. Oh no, I'm doing better. Okay, I am doing much better now. Let's see. So right now, everybody that's hated, Sicily, England for the most part, and Holy Roman Empire is kind of meh. Same with France. Scotland and Genoa are absolutely loved. Same with Jerusalem and Portugal. You can see why they hate them there. Okay, um, let's see. You guys here, what do I want to get? You guys actually do have a decent amount of public order, but I think I might want to get more buildings for... Uh, actually, let's get that first. Grab that first there for you guys for the income boost and the population growth. Um, let's see, Oslo. I think I'm going to have you guys get the roads first. They'll give a little bit more trade, but it's also just how much more speed increase it will be, we'll have from that. Let's see. Lund. Uh, you guys don't need those men. I'm going to send them over this way, as I want to make sure I'm still bringing more guys over this way, because right now, Turku... I can actually recruit some. I can recruit you. See if they'll be okay. Uh, currently, they're at... what? Okay, they're at 180. They might be okay. Let's test. Let's see. If I leave, like, one guy there... Okay, no, they're actually not that bad. I thought you guys would be way more pissed off. Okay, so next turn, I can move out with you. And I know right now that Revel's pretty vulnerable. Riga's pretty vulnerable. And basically what I'm gonna... Oh, you got an army there. No more wards. Draw your my sword. Okay, so they are bringing them over some guys. Now, my fleet is up here, so I'll bring you back down this way. I'll probably pick you up next turn, and then I'll have you drop off. And I think... Uh, do I want to take Riga first, or do I want to take Revel first? Revel has less men in it initially, but there is that one army over there. Right. Hmm. I guess it depends on if you, where you move. Wherever he moves is going to determine what we're going to do. So you need to keep making your way on over here. Oh, hi there. That's a lot of guys. Oh, they've got quite a few forces there. Because how are we doing against them right now? So if I compare myself to Novgorod, overall they are stronger. Militarily they are stronger. Uh, production, I'm doing better. Territorially, I'm doing better. Financially, they've got like 120,000. Population, I'm about to pass them. Okay, not the worst. I think with some tactical battles, I think we should be okay. I think we'll probably go for Riga first, honestly. More than likely, I think that's when it's going to happen. Um, you guys here, how many turns until I can recruit a unit here? Six. Okay, because what I'll probably be doing is... I'm going to drop yes. you guys off down here first. 
I'll then have you guys go back up and probably grab... I don't need all these guys. Oh, actually, no, I've got a ship right there already. So, next turn, I can have them probably just yes. grab, like, these guys. March. Maybe you two. Uh, I'll probably leave the crossbow in here. Move out. Leave that guy, and then you guys can, next yes. turn, make your way over. You can probably go over there and oh. be garrison this area. I probably should actually put more of my money into these cities, honestly, just to make sure they're happier. Because right now, um... Died. I have no priests over here, and I know you guys are going to be very pissy about that. Like, this area, I might have to wait a little bit longer, because they're currently at uh, only 13% Catholic. You guys are doing far better down here. It's uh, 74. It converted a hell of a lot faster. Way faster than I thought. Weren't you at, like, 32 be before? Okay. Uh, oh, wait, that's why. I've got, like, five of them. Also, I do have another spy around here. Uh, again, keep making your way over here. You guys keep making your way over here. Oh, that's, uh... What is that? That's an assassin of theirs. Okay. I'm ki I kind of like that they have it so it's not specifically... Oh, it's just generic assassin. It does have it so it's their specific name in their own language. I kind of like that. It's more immersive. So I have to actually kind of click in and then I can know specifically what he is. Now, let's see. I was bringing you over this way as well. I'll have you kind of maybe scout out some of the more southern regions that they control. Oh, hey, so there's another chapel. Um, because this stuff I'm actually not going to worry about. No, they do control this. Let's go check over here. I will hide. I just need to see what they have around Minsk there. Um, this is Polokst. That's Pskov. Smolensk. And, oh, there's Novgorod. Okay, I was wondering where the hell it was. I kind of just overlooked it initially. Okay, at least I'll have one army that's going to be ready to move out next turn, at least. I'm gonna have to move those um, priests. Oh, shit, I forgot to move that ship. Uh, damn it, I moved, forgot to move the uh, merchants again. <sighs> I'll do it next turn. Now, before I fucking forget, let's do this first. So, I had that one ship. First blue wall. Interesting. Uh, he's right here. Uh, I think I can still risk picking you up. Uh, nope, you're gonna get stuck. <sighs> okay, I might just have to start keeping uh, this guy walking down on his own, honestly. Like, I'll, I'll just do that. And then right now, before I forget, you guys need to keep exploring. So I know there's nothing around here. You guys need to keep going along this way. Is... Can I not go further inland? There's got to be a little bit of a land bridge or something. Oh, hey, a crusade army. Let's see. Because I have all three of you scouting out this area at the same time. I really should have brought over a spy. Uh, that would have probably helped us out a bit. Oh, hey, you're a knight now. Nice. Okay, because again, I'm still going to have you make your way on over to Oslo. You can go over there. You guys keep training on this man. Just try and become the best assassins you possibly can be. I failed there, sadly. Now, let's see. You're getting close. Yeah, you're almost there. Okay, now let's make sure we're building, putting more money into these areas, as I do need to make sure I'm actually converting these guys. Right now, it's like 17%. Uh, can I get some assassins over here? Let's see, can I get that right now? Uh, turn to a castle. No, that's what I'm trying to do. Diplomat, spy. I need a higher level of in, don't I? Uh, where's the end? Closed room, mills, barns, music, library, big house. Where the fuck is the end? Am I just overlooking it? Stay in the closed rooms? No. I don't see. It's usually not this high up. Health and hygiene hospitals, fisheries. What the fuck? House? No. Okay, why can't I find it? Because it's not none of the guilds. Oh, it's under guest houses. Okay. Um. No, it's not linked to this. Where is the bit? Where are the assassins linked to again? Because I've got that over here. Oh wait, that was the jail, wasn't it? It was, uh... Yeah, it was the dungeons. It was the dungeons. So if I get the dungeon over here, that will give us some more public order. Dungeon. Yes, there we go. So let's get some assassins here. Then I can just start trying to get rid of uh, their priests and that uh, heretic as well, just to kind of help us out here. Now you guys can move out, so we can keep our momentum going. Let's get you out of here. This guy should be good to watch over Turku. And then Turku here. Uh, I think you guys... Uh, get the better roads there. 
just for the movement right now, I'd say. Grab that, and then keep getting me more priests and spies around here, as I need a lot of them in general oh, around this area. Here we run there. Yes. And then you guys, looks like Riga. Okay, we should be able to do this. So, kind of drop off, I'd probably say, like, right here. Not in course now, my lord. Or I'll get stuck. Are you going to get it out of my way? Closing no, you're not. Place, I will just sink you then. For the, no the Vikings have come for your land, and now I don't have any movement. Yes. Damn it. Uh, I probably should have gone for Rebel. I think that, ar that army disappeared. He did, went somewhere. I don't know where. Let's see. You. Let's have you kind of go off to this side here. Kind of see what's going on around here. I'll have you kind of stay near Novgorod specifically. You can do that. And then this guy. I'll probably have you kind of go down this way. So kind of have you guys spread out. Basically, we just want to try and see where the local armies are, so I can avoid them and just walk up towards the cities. Um. Oh, hey, Kiev is at war with somebody new. Death of the Cardinal. I don't care about. And then that already went into... Let's see what you get there. Increased in your stealth a little bit. Ooh! Poisoner. Nice. Not bad. Plus two to your skill. Experience Assassin. Wait, that was actually King Haldor. Oh! Plus one personal security and reduced cost of training agents. Nice. I'm okay with this. Okay, so now you guys here. Let's grab you. And then let's bring them on over this way. And then I can't check just right now but we can try and see hey will be they be okay with you guys here they might they might not I'm not sure uh, I don't think so honestly with how you guys are right now because public order wise 120% from religious unrest like it's at 17% right now so it's kind of going up very slowly because it was at 13 before but it's very slow Ooh, Visby should be growing soon yeah I need more of you guys like that uh, you guys here just grew your stuff as well um, let's get you the watermill, some more base money, and some more income. And then I think you guys actually, I should bring you kind of up towards Uppsala. Bring you guys up that way, and then I'll have it so that once this army drops him off around Riga, I will have it so that you guys will make your way back over to Uppsala. And I can grab those troops and send them on over this way, up towards my current king. Um, I do have these guys, although they could actually try and do that instead. Maybe... Yeah. Oh no, yeah, they've got enough of them. Let's do that. I'll still move you guys up here. I don't need the biggest navy, so I can have you guys go over here, pick those guys up. Because I'd right, like to make sure that if I have an army down like this, um, I don't leave them alone and leave them vulnerable, so that they can possibly just die with no escape. There, now that I've actually got some movement again, we can properly drop down and try and take Riga. So let's uh, kind of go over... Uh, you know what? Let's see. The... Oh, this event can inspire any military commander who is close to your capital. Just in their speech, close to your channel, is about to go. Did you listen to them? Um, actually, I'm gonna say no this time. I didn't realize that, that was specifically just guys around my capital, so I'm gonna say no. Um, let's go here, and then I need to move. Let's bring. Uh, I'll just say you. Yes. Go right. Oh, you gotta go. Go right there first. Then go there. You start the siege, and then my army will drop off. They'll be able to group on, uh, help out and out during the end turn. Uh, I'm definitely going to grab more mercenary galleys. I need to make sure we have a strong navy. So you yes. guys grab that. And then, let's see. Now, how do you guys feel about this? So if you guys watch over Sala, yes. Yes. it is currently at... If you'll get out of the way. Uh, and you condemn yourself to I can lower the taxes and they're okay. And then if I can get a... Oh, I'm at my agent limit now. It's like 22, so it is going up. Not by much, but a little bit. So I'm going to have you guys, I'm going to have you kind of slowly walk around, build up some watchtowers around here for us, as I am going to be making, basically waiting for you guys to get some reinforcements. So, where'd those guys go? There they are, actually. Let's actually drive you guys right here first. Just grab these guys, make their way on over. We'll try and give them over to you. I'm going to have you kind of just spend some time just building up the infrastructure around Finland to know who now rules. And then once you guys get those additional units, I'll have you keep pushing forward. Um, Bisbee finally grew. Yeah, finally. And then, uh, you guys as well. Nice. Uh, I don't, oh my god, they cost 8500 That is so expensive. I'll have to save my money for that next turn then. Um, London R just finished some dungeons too. Ooh, prison, level 2 for that. Mm, I do want to still build something. Let's just get a generic farm here. That will help out still in Lund to give us a little bit more money. 
Still have a bit of corruption, but that's okay. Um, just need to make sure that we're not spending too much so that we actually can get that upgrade next turn. Um, you guys here, let's just say the bread market. Grab that. And then, how close are you guys now? Because I know Visby was just ahead of you, barely. You're still, th you're 300 off. Uh, Kukunsgrav. <laughs> I'm hoping I'm not butchering that for any actual Swedes. Um, cemetery, maybe? It is kind of cheap. This would also give us another 50. That's not the worst. That's good. More conversion. And I do need more priests right now, honestly. So we can grab that. Um, let's see what's going on. Aragorn, England are at war. France and Cordoba are at war. I'm not too surprised by that. Seljuks. There's a lot of people, a lot of going on with you guys. People have declared a truce. Interesting. And they've declared independence. Or they've lost their independence. Interesting. Cardinal reports. Interesting. Now, can I, I, don't, I think it's been too long since I could try and join the crusade. Because, uh, where was it again? I can't remember where it was. I think it was against Sicily right now. But I don't think I'm going to, I don't know if I'm ever going to a crusade as this faction. I don't know. I don't think it ever will, like, it, it could, it would be great for some money, but I don't know if we'd ever really want the land. Because we don't need anything like that for our victory conditions. No, we don't have to, like, go to Jerusalem or anything like that. Man, you guys are finding nothing here. Because I know there's got to be, like, some, like, Timbuktu somewhere down here that I can go to. I just don't see any land bridges right now. This is going to take forever to find this. And let's see, that ship here. Let's have you... Uh, Go right there, and I might be able to pick you up now. Yeah, pick him up. Let's start making our way over. Just drop them off in Iberia, and then we'll keep making our way, and hopefully, once I can get some map information from the Moors, I'll actually have a better idea what's going on with that trade. And I really should get some other ships ready. No, save my money. I need to save my money. <laughs> Otherwise, I'm not going to build up all the upgrades, so I really need to save that. Basically, end this turn. You guys should sally out of Riga there, and then I can take that. These many guys around there... Can I actually sail into that lake? I think we should have enough space. Because I absolutely want to take advantage of any little land thing like that. Because we were able to expand so rapidly because of all the, the ocean around us. There is the water. Taking advantage of the water of Scandinavia. So, such a, a strange concept, I know. But now that we're going into Russia, we're going into a more landlocked area. Which... We should still be able to do well, but it's going to be harder to reinforce and strike targets that are more vulnerable. Like, that's the sole reason that Denmark died so quickly. It was a great defense being on islands, but also their worst defense, once I finally had a good navy. Like, now that I can actually start producing a navy, me going after anybody coastally is a threat. Now, let's see, here you guys are, so you're going to sally out of here. We'll take Riga. Hopefully you guys make us a decent amount of money. And I don't know how bad it's going to be on recruitment. Uh, wait, are you just the bastard? Oh, you're an illegitimate. Yeah, you are just illegitimate. Ah, a brother from another mother for me. <laughs> Let's see, you guys, full devoted bastard. Uh, make sure I control these guys myself. Should be able to easily kill them. They don't have all that much here. Ah, good, the bastard just is running straight on out. Awesome. That's exactly what I want you to do. So slow it down. Let's have you guys kind of run on over that way. You guys kind of run along this way. As soon as you're dead, and you actually have a different bodyguard this time. I'm assuming it's still just as strong. Oh man, that looks nice. That looks really nice. Okay, you guys surround him. Surround him, should be able to very easily kill this bastard. And then, once he's dead, the rest of the enemy army is going to break. Because they've got like... Let's see. This is some of their very basic troops. And the true militia, I know it's a basic infantryman. This actually looks a little bit better. Battle is in our favor. You guys here, how you doing? True and 2%. Hearted, victory will be ours. At. He's at 19. You actually did a decent amount of damage. I don't like that. Come on, try and finish him off. Let's have one of you guys kind of go off to the side again. Try and surround him. I don't want him getting away. You've lasted the longest so far out of like any general I've fought, honestly. The Russians are made of tougher stuff. Which one is he? What does the general actually look like for the Russians? Oh, is it that guy that I just saw? I think it's you. I think you're the general. There's just are there are just two left. I would assume it's that guy. Okay, you are a slimy bastard! Get back here! Come on, kill him already! 
It's taken far too long for us to kill him. I'm not used to this! I'm used to us destroying the enemy general immediately, almost. It's kind of a shame! Ah, oh, I'll give you a... Uh, you have my respect there, bastard. Now, let's see. Slavic Levy Warriors. Levy Spearmen. Careful there. Don't accidentally t uh, trigger those guys. Say, uh, where, where the hell did you go? Oh, you're just running through my dudes. Okay, you guys just kind of wait over on this side. Wait until they've engaged us in melee, and then we can just start flanking you guys. Archers are doing their work. 5% already. Because now that we've captured the general, this is really not going to be that hard. That's it. You guys are already wavering. Oh, man. I was, I was uh, hoping favor. more for you guys. If we remain true and wholehearted, victory will be ours. Let's, Let's move you guys. Uh, you two stay back here. You stay back here. You guys kind of running up this way. Is it? <laughs> I didn't even touch you! And you just broke! Oh my god, it's just like dealing with younger siblings. It is Come on, to praise the run them all down, sunset. since they're just little pansies. Oh shit, I just realized that you guys have- I forgot you to- uh... Shit, I forgot you guys had a catapult! Oh my god, okay, so I have to actually try and sneak on in. I didn't capture all of you guys. Okay, so I should still be able to sneak in. Open the gates for me, and then I can finish off this catapult here. So I think this is just far enough away. And then... Slow down just a little bit. And... Come on. There we go. Okay, rush on in. Go, 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 go! Okay, next one maybe. Come on, come on, come on. I need to make sure I can get in. Okay, run in. Go, go, go. There- Ah, oh, damn it! Come on! Am I, I'm too close now, aren't I? Come on, open the fucking gates! Okay, maybe I can just do it now. Stay there, stay there, stay there, stay there... Thank you! Okay, there we go. <laughs> Get rid of this catapult, then we got the city. I forgot you guys had that. Enemy. There we go. This is a 46 guys lost, 700 killed, around Riga. Okay, so there's one new settlement for us in uh, the Russian lands. Now, how bad is it going to be to convert this area? I, I'm just curious how well of a city this is. Like, how close is this one to stone walls already? Because, let's see, execute all of them. And then, ah. Oh. Now, I'm debating if I want to exterminate, because exterminating would make it easier to conquer these areas. But it would destroy buildings. I'll just sack. Oh, Riga makes a lot of money! Yes! I'm just gonna start making so much money. Like, I'm just going to make the Baltics a huge trade hub, and I'm gonna love it. Ooh, they did bring that one army over down here. Okay, okay. I wish I had some other mercenaries around here. If I had some more mercenaries, I could just probably leave a small force in Riga. Like, I am more prone to more aggressive play in this mod because of the fact I, I have those garrison scripts. Which I do think next time I play this mod, I'm going to make them a little stronger because there was like three options and I kind of chose the middle ground one. Because right now, it is pretty easy for me to avoid them. Oh, they actually just finished the, the crusade. That was for Tunis. Ah, I see. Okay, because now it is our, the uh, Aragonese have that. Polish family member, Hungary. Oh, they actually sent their heir over there. Interesting. Oh my god, am I ever going to find this area? Yes. Okay, now, if I do... Okay, I'm going to have some of you go up. Because I want to try and see if there's any uh, anything else. So I don't think there is. Let's see, uh, my ship... Let's actually have you... Well, okay, I can do this first. Uh, cause that's... Oh, actually, there's a Morris Merchant. I can talk to merchants for diplomat. Oh, I can't. Okay, well, let's talk to you. I have no... Uh, I have never talked to you guys yet, so let's, uh, offer some trade. Okay, like that, and then I'm going to... I'm actually doing well on money, so I'm not too worried about that. Let me see what you guys want for your map information. Uh, oh, back only 1,500? Yeah, I'll accept that. And then you guys... Sicily, France, England... Would you guys like an alliance? Generous offer! No. Damn it! I wanted somebody to like me. Okay, so that's a little bit more of... Actually, they do not have much around here. They really don't. 
Okay, we'll get back on our ship. We'll keep sailing along. We'll talk to uh, Portugal, and then we'll also talk to the Moors as well. You keep making your way over this way. Keep following along the coast. Um, and then that was around here. So we now have Riga. The area is... Oh, it's very unhappy. Um, let's see. I need to get the church. It's mainly that. Yeah, 135. Okay, uh, lower the taxes so for right now. And then... Uh, I'm going to get some assassins around here as I can grab some. I can have you guys just start stabbing their cardinals. Um, which you guys... You can finish that soon. That's going to finish next turn. My king. Let's keep you having you move down around here. Keeping some watchtowers. I've got a mercenaries around here. Ooh, there are some of these guys. Which are pretty good. I'm going to grab some. I'm going to grab you guys. That way I don't have to wait. I can actually just have you kind of walk along. You can keep just building up watchtowers. I'll have you just go directly towards... I'm going to have you go for Novgorod. I'm going to have my king go for Novgorod. You can do that. You'll be the really ballsy bastard. You guys kind of spread out a little bit. You keep going along this way to kind of see what's going on over... Oh, yeah, they've got a good force around there. Oleg Bastard. You have a lot of illegitimate characters. Interesting that the Russians have that. Let's see, bandits on the road. Oh, what is this about? Monsieur, there are... Why is it fucking French? Um, there are too many bandits on the roads of our empire. These scoundrels are so insolent to the rumble carts of supplies, and local merchants are complaining about them. Uh, see, they have been doing it for years, but this year they have completely parted. These dogs attack from the ambushes, rob and hide in the forest. They must be immediately... We must immediately send out a squad to fight the bandits. However, it will cost you 5,000 florins. Ouch. Let's see, if they are caught by the will of God, we will immediately hang them. If you refuse, the roads remain in danger and we will suffer significant losses. Shoot, the shit. <laughs> okay, I, I kind of love how bad the translation is sometimes. Shoot, the decision is yours. I will go about with this. Sure, I will say that we will go about that as I do have plenty of money right now for that. Um, let's see, new, a lot of new family members. Yeah, brave merchant. Ooh, you're making some good money. Brave traveler. You're not doing anything, though. Uh, because where's this? That's yeah, a stoop slow. Um, let's see. I think I want to drop you off in Visby. Because you guys, I'm just going to have you drop off these units generically around here. Have them sit in Turku, as some of those guys will actually be free upkeep. I can actually gather some more men around here. Since I now have a pretty good area to try and re uh, replenish myself from. Um, I'll give you guys... I'm going to have you become the governor of Bisbee, I'm going to say. It's about to grow. Oh, that reminds me, before I forget, as I needed to save this money up. There we go. Grab that, and then... Oh, you guys are so close. You're 170 off. Um, Aras, you guys are losing population right now. Um, I don't like that. So, let's... Oh, I don't have a chapel. Oh, wow. Did I just... I think that was, must have been destroyed in my assault of that city. I didn't realize that. Let's see. Roskilde. You guys. Uh, I want the tax office. I want the tax office. But also, getting rid of some more of this corruption would be great. Going down about 100. Yeah. Get that. Get that there. And then I actually should keep trying to gather more merchants. I needed to remember to send out a bunch at some point. So you keep recruiting some more merchants. Uh, Roskilde. Let's see, what else can I build? I've got a bit more money. So, Skara, you guys, I want... Ooh. Mailed knights and dismounted mailed knights? Wait, I missed this unit? Ooh. Ooh. Do I want that right now? I kind of do. Actually, I want to get some armor upgrades. Let's grab some armor upgrades there, and then let's see what else. You guys have a barn. Sure, a public health bonus. Grab that. And then I don't have much more. You guys, uh, you've got a bit of corruption. And there's also the religious unrest. But the religious unrest is getting better. Let's get you the town hall. Grab that. As it's mainly the heretics, so I need to get rid of you. Oh, only a 7% chance. My lord. 22. And did I have a mission right now? Uh, murder the heretic. Yeah, this guy right here. I have five turns for this. You have a 90% chance to kill Albert. Wait, what? That was... What? That was the mission! Burn the heretic! I burned the heretic and you're just not gonna give me the mission completion? What the fuck? The Pope was like, hey, murder this heretic. I I punished him. Okay. That's strange. 
Well, make your way over here and we'll get rid of this one too. What the fuck happened there? Okay, well, at least you guys next turn will be able to do something there. You guys will have to sit here for a little bit. It's about uh, eight, nine turns until any of you guys are happy. I could probably... Uh, I don't have the guild here. Oh, actually, no, I, yeah, I can get some guild riders. Guild riders and bond spearmen, I can kind of queue you guys up. And basically bring them over to Riga. And then, as soon as I've got those guys there, this area might actually be pretty happy. Because, well, there is the religious unrest issue. But... Um, I have plenty of guys around here. I should actually bring some of these guys with me as I'm just walking about. I probably should, but I need to make sure I at least get rid of the guys around here before I do that. Otherwise, they might just make uh, some more trouble in areas I've already conquered. Ooh, the Kingdom of Scotland is dead. Interesting. I like that they have a unique one for each faction. I do like that. I haven't seen the same one twice. Uh, okay, you said murder the heretic. Are you going to have me, like... Oh, that's well, that's way far away from where I'm at. Uh, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to do that, man. <laughs> I'm not gonna really try. Uh, and let's see, that was a uh, yeah, one of my assassins. I need you to stab this guy. Looks like he at oh, only Let's have you try and train a little bit on these guys here. Try and train on them, and then I'll start having you try and kill those guys. So keep getting more of them. Get some more priests around here too. This is gonna take us a little while to convert that. I think you guys here. We'll probably honestly want to just focus on the church upgrade. So grab the church upgrade there. Then you guys here. Let's see. I just have spies in here. I don't have assassins. I'll probably have to make sure I send some from down here from Sala. You guys keep making your way over here. And then I am just going to have you keep making your way over towards Novgorod. So just keep building watchtowers as you're making your way over there. You're just going around meeting your new subjects. Greeting them as you're their new king. Um, let's see, these guys, I need more public order, so I want Sawmill, because it is improving, it's, it's still 130. Um, let's see, the Town Hall, it's only going to give 5%, but it will help out a little bit. And also, you guys have a little bit of corruption here, so grab that, and then, let's see, we got at least a Bishop here, it's 18, ah, oh, it went down, fuck! Okay, get that Assassin there, as I do need to start stabbing these bastards, because it's going to... I don't need you here with your bullshit. You keep recruiting some guys, and then I will have you also get more guys around here. Um, let's see. Line items. New summary. Uh, bishop. Able to count. Witch Hunter. Ooh, nice. You still have a horrible chance about this. Yeah, oh, 30% chance. Let's have you try against him then. Same with you. Because uh, this guy over here is going to take a little while to get over here to get rid of this guy, and he's got like a 50% chance. Building report. Let's see, so these guys are ready. I can grab them. Because let's, uh, we're dropping you off. You're going to be the new governor. They are losing people now. What the fuck, man? Lower the taxes. And then I'll have you make your way back over here. Uh, let's grab uh, these guys, put them on a boat, and they'll start making their way over towards Riga so that you guys can kind of keep doing that. As if this force, if you guys enter into Revel, that shouldn't be that hard for me to beat, although. I am worried about Kiev here. Like, how do you guys feel about me right now? Because you guys are allied to them. So, they're disgusted by me. They're trustworthy, and I am trading with them. Also, who do I see just had a ridiculous amount of our enemies? Ah, uh, it's Sicily. <laughs> oh my god. I wonder if Sicily's gonna last that long, honestly. I don't think they will. Let's see. Ooh, hey, new Cardinal. Uh, good, he actually was uh, ranked up there. Ah, uh, shit. Uh, where's one of my diplomats? I should probably give another bribe over to those guys. Let's see. You're at C. I do need to move you about. Oh, is it just those two? Shit. Uh, let's get another one from you guys here. Give me another diplomat. We'll try and talk with the uh, Holy Roman Empire, give them another little bribe. Lund, keep getting me more merchants around here. And then you guys, let's see, what do I want? I think you guys, ah. Uh, the public health bonus would not be bad. City council, just for more law would be good too. That's another 130 I could save. Orphanage, water tanks. Court? That has a lot too. Oh, large hut. Let's get the large hut. Large hut there. Um, what else can we build right now? You guys don't have to worry about corruption around here as much. So I think I'm going to actually avoid building stuff right there for now. Oh, I want those roads, but I don't know enough. I can also get the hunter's hut here. 
Grab that Hunter's Hut there. And then what else? You're building roads, you're still growing your city. Oh, actually, how close is... <sighs> Next turn you'll grow. Next turn you'll grow for sure. You guys here... Ooh, paper making workshop. How much does that improve trade? That'll go up about another 80. And corruption will go up only 8. Okay, that's not that bad. That's not that bad. Okay, now you guys here. Um, let's see. I still hate that I can't talk to you guys. Let's kind of keep going along the coast. That's another Morse merchant. Ah, oh, I just want to talk to you guys. I want some map information, damn it. Because if I have map information, it'll be a lot easier to find where the fuck the trade goods are. Because so far, I'm still just trying to go along the coast here. Yes, moving. Still haven't found any uh, pathways I can go down. You're trying to go kind of along the coast here way. to see if you find anything. As you wish. So far, I've found nothing for way. trade goods around you. That sucks. Oh my god. Mmm, fuck. Okay, so I am going to be fighting a two-front war. Well, it's all in the same direction, but now we're fighting Kiev as well. Yay. This is going to be fun. I was worried that they were going to join in on this war. And now they have. So now I have to fight Kiev and Novgorod. Both of which are extremely powerful. Again. What are you talking about? Uh, I'm not going to accept you. You're pretty bad. You guys are pissed. Additional training. Uh, not right now, actually, I'd say. Let's see. You get rid of the heretic for... Oh, 6%. 10, 8, 15, 13, 18. Try and stab this man if you can. Uh, nope. Okay, you guys keep getting more assassins around here. Um, and then I'm going to actually take... Let's see. I think I'll take... Uh, hmm. This is at 19. It's, it's not getting better. Because uh, right now, let's see. So if we compare... So now it's not just... Novgorod. It's also Kiev, which is stronger than Novgorod. They are equal in strength in military. Oh, fuck. Oh, God. Territorially, Kiev is stronger. Financially, they're about... Yeah, Kiev is richer. I now po pass them in population. That is for me taking their city, though. Fuck. Oh, God. Because, like... Oh, this is not... <laughs> This is not that great of an army. Like, you guys are pretty decent, but these guys are crap. There's just a bunch of levies. What the fuck are you on about? You're sieging one of my best armies here, and you think you can do anything to me? Okay. So, let's see. So now that that's the case, Vilno honestly will probably be I'm going to have my army's next target be. Because that's another castle. Castles will be more important to me than cities. So I'll probably have you go do that. Uh, I am going to send my diplomat over here. I'm going to have you start making your way down towards Constantinople. I do want you to try and get over there so I can try and talk to them. My god. They have so many armies. They all look like they're just a bunch of fucking generic dudes, though. So their military is extremely large, but also... It seems to be just filled with shit. So I don't think I'm going to have to really worry too much. But I am definitely going to want to sally out here, I think. Uh, let me just make sure I do all my other things before I forget. Because this is going to be great now that I have to deal with them too. Oh my god. Okay, uh, let's drop off my diplomat here. I want to talk to Portugal. Hey, I want some trade rights. Thank you. And then I want your map information. And then I'm just curious what you think for that. They don't want to give it up. Uh, let me offer... Let me just offer some regular tribute, like 500 for three turns. Oh, they're poor as shit. That actually probably like anything I give them. Let's try and offer that. That is very generous. Sure, it's not that much money. I don't know why you guys didn't ask that. So let's see. So you guys. Oh, why you don't have much? I thought you guys had more. Okay, and then that is controlled by Spain. Okay, so I'll put you back on the ship, and then let's keep making our way down this way. Yes, my lord. Still haven't found any Moorish settlements yes, yet. I'll, I'll probably drop you guys off over here. Because it almost feels like to me that... I don't know if I can get the Timbuktu. And if I can't, then I don't know if this is going to be the area I'm going to want to bring my merchants. Because, like... Oh, I found something! 
I found something! It's worth only 100... Oh, I'll have you just go up here. Honestly. I haven't found anything of real value around here. So I might just have you guys kind of go back. Like, this is worth 600. Go grab that. All of you keep exploring. You can be the one that's the adventurous one. Uh, Genius entrepreneurship, beginning to age, guarding. Yeah, all of you move over that way. So that you can try and see if you can find anything. Now the fun part. So, no, oh, wait. Okay, for a moment, it looks like we just had fucking uh, Palpatine as an assassin here. Uh, Cole from Les Gutland. Okay, you guys here. I'm not going to sit here and wait. Hi, Captain. That does not look fun. So they don't have much cav, but they have a ridiculous amount of infantry. Which I should be able to fucking destroy. So, I'm gonna sally out here. I don't think they have the best chance here. I'm not gonna let them sit here and siege me as... My quality is too good to just sit here and have them starve to death. Like, I'm insulted that you're sieging me with this crap army. Like, what do you think is gonna happen? I'm gonna slaughter these guys. I guess they're just trying to be opportunistic and see like, hey, they just landed. Maybe they're tired from their assault. Maybe we can do something. Fuck no, you're fighting some Vikings here, man. Get out of here with this shit. So let's get you guys out here. Rush on out. Because they have so much crap. Speaking of Palpatine, it sounds like uh, Star Wars music right now. Because um, you guys have so many crap units. So I'll have my archers kind of line up here. Cav, let's group you guys up. Let's add my cav, let's say kind of over here. And then infantry, let's move you guys right here. Oh, they are advancing out. What's that? That's the black ass, that's the skirmisher cav. Which you guys could actually be a huge issue. So I'll have my cav try and rush straight up at you. Uh, I need all my men to get in position. Although this is probably gonna take a while for everybody to get in position as they are all funding that out of the same damn gate. Well, Cav, let's hope you guys can deal with those units. These archers should be okay. Let's just push in here. Wait, why are you guys coming out of that other door gate? Interesting. Okay, try and push them back. Everybody get in position. Go, go, go. Honestly, infantry just keep charging at them. I'm not gonna wait. I'm not gonna let you just freely shoot me. My units are that good of quality. I'm not worried about this. Like, bring it on! I've got a bunch of Scandinavian axemen. You fill us full of arrows and we keep charging you. We're just high on some bloodlust. Go, go, go. Black hats are fucked. Let's get my calf back out of here for a second. Infantry are charging in here. Bring it on, come on. Aren't you ready for a fight, Russia? Or Kiev? Come on. What did you think was gonna happen? You pissed off a bunch of angry Swedish men. What did you think was going to happen here, guys? Okay, archers, I probably need to move you guys a little bit closer since I'm being more aggro than I intended originally. But let's have you guys go that way. Uh, Cav, let's have you. Who is their captain? Oh, I can't see who the hell the captain is. Uh, you go over this way. Those Slavic warriors are kind of going to be a problem. Let's move you guys off to the side here a little bit more. Uh, you guys, let's see. Oh, it's probably the Slight Cab Union is probably their captain. You guys go over there. Focus him down, number-wise, six to eight. Doing a little bit more damage to me than I might like. But I think we should be okay, because you guys kind of run up this way. Cav, let's get you guys. Yeah, that one guy is their captain. Okay, you guys run back over this way. I'm gonna have you just start charging in, so like, have you guys charge in here. You guys charge in here. Let's see, you're still making your way over. What are you doing? Oh, that unit's broken. That's what's going on there. Uh, you guys get back over here. These mad lads get back over here and actually fight somebody that wants to try and fight. Oh, those are skirmishers. That's what's going on there. Okay, you guys are just about to charge on in and destroy these guys' backsides. Oh, actually, they're breaking beforehand. Here we are. This should break you guys. Oh, yeah, there we go. Oh, that's a good charge. Let's see, 11 to 29. That's better. That's much better. Infantry, keep charging on in there. Oh, that's what's going on with you guys. You're just being so ballsy. You're taking a little bit more damage than I'd like right now. Okay, uh, Cav, kind of run over here. Run these guys down a little bit, and then I'll have you kind of probably charge in here. Let's see, number wise, 12 to 38. So you guys aren't shooting here. 
move you guys up a little bit closer. Cav. Keep running those guys down. Up out over here and here. You guys get in here as well. A lot of them are running already. Infantry, I'm gonna have you guys just be on AI commands at this point. For the most part, a lot of them are not even trying. It's mainly now just me controlling my Cav. 15 to 52. Wow! Yeah, see, this is what I was talking about, Kiev. What did you think was going to happen here? I actually wrecked you here. Like, I'm gonna capture so many dudes, and I'm gonna make you regret attacking me. Like, hey, I was open to just keep trading with you, even though I was fighting and killing your ally. But no, now you've kicked the hornet's nest. You've kicked the yellow and blue hornet's nest, and you are not gonna like the outcome. Like, I feel I need a damn battle cry for fights like this, where I just want to be aggro as shit. Like, are there any Scandinavian phrases that would work for that, I wonder? I don't know. You guys, uh, let me know if you guys know of any, honestly, because... Like, I just... That just felt good, pushing into these guys like that. They lost 2,300 guys. I lost only 293. I lost 15% of my forces to kill you guys here. Like, my units are just that superior to the forces they currently field. Like, I don't know what they were expecting there with that. I will have to be careful with uh, battles like that, because if I can't take 15% of my forces every time, slowly we are going to be whittled down. But, like, fuck you, Kiev. Get out of here with that shit. Now, let's see. You here, keep trying to... Let's see. I hate that you have so many guys like this. Keep trying to stab this guy specifically. Let's see if you're successful. I highly doubt it. I'm probably going to have to have you train for a little bit until you can actually succeed here, but we need to start getting rid of some of these bishops, as I believe they are technically... It should be orthodoxy that they'd convert it to, and we're technically Christian Christianity. Because you guys... Yeah, orthodoxy, so it is a different religion specifically. I'll have uh, you also try and help stab this man. And I'm assuming... Nope. Okay, now I think this is probably going to be a pretty good place to end for today. We've started to push into the lands of Russia. Uh, I am going to have to make sure that we just have continuous... Oh my god. I can recruit so many units now. I love it. Like, they don't take that long to, like, replenish. It feels like eight, eight turns. It doesn't feel like it, at least. So I'll have to just make sure I have con continuous replenishment of troops here from my castles around here. And then I really want to try and take... Do you have night battle? I'll have to check that next video if he has night battle, because i probably have you try and go and push in here. Because this castle would be very useful for us. It'd be very useful for us. Because I know I'm going to have my king keep moking his way over here. I'm going to have him just go straight for their capital. I want to have them take Novgorod, as that should be a pretty big hit to their economy. And then I can have you guys just keep trying to push in maybe towards this castle to get a good defensive structure for us. But... I think this is a pretty good place to end for today. Hope you guys enjoyed this. If you guys did, maybe like, comment, and or subscribe. If you guys did not, please let me know why so I can try and improve. Also, check out my Discord. It's a great way to interact with the rest of my community and get updates on videos. Additionally, there are plenty of other ways to continue to watch my channel in the description, so you can check that out. This is Rampin, and I'll see you guys next time.